Downtown Bradenton is alive and thriving, and Art Center Manatee is a huge part of it. They feature three different art galleries with changing exhibits, an artist market gift shop, an art library, and classrooms that hold over 3,000 students each year. Well, today we get an opportunity to be the students, and instructor Donna Carrion is here to teach us how to forge metal into jewelry. All right, Donna, you have a lot of confidence in our skills. I do. But I see an anvil, we have a mallet, so we are ready to go. Yes. Now tell us a little bit, how did you get into this craft to begin with? Uh, it actually happened quite by accident. I um, took a jewelry class just for the heck of it. It was a continuing ed class, and I literally fell in love with it. Oh. I decided to go back to college and oh, yeah. pursue my passion. Wow, and that's wonderful. Yeah. That story. It really is oh, so artistic, that right? That is so yes. inspiring. Get lost in it. That's a good it. testament to what continuing ed can do for Absolutely. people. Yeah, so yeah. there yeah. could be a metalsmith hiding in one of us now. We don't even <laughs> yes. know. Yes. All right, so um, just to see, I always like to see, we're seeing examples now of different types of jewelry that, that I know can be made in different classes. So let's start off with Mickey. So let's start the first step here to make some of the jewelry. Uh, talk through what Mickey's going to be doing. Okay, well, we have th uh, we, this project took about three feet of uh, round copper wire. And what Mickey's going to do is just cut some metal into various lengths. We okay. usually cut them between three and six inch lengths. And um, that this will prepare us. reminds me of like cutting my bicycle lock yes. off. <laughs> Woo! Uh -huh. Perfect. Yeah. All right. This one too? Yes. And it's all, this is where the creativity comes in. It Correct. can be any length. Okay. Yes. Well, yes. Perfect. All right. That's fun. Yeah. All right. So next step, I see an anvil. So what we're going to, so <laughs> the next step after the um, wire is cut is mm -hmm. we run it through a machine called a rolling mill. Unfortunately, it's very large and we couldn't bring it with us today. What does that do? Uh, the rolling mill has um, a number of channels that get progressively smaller. And what it does is it changes the wire from something that is very consistent in uh, diameter to something that tapers at the bottom. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, neat. All right. And so what I'm going to show you today yes. is how to uh, do a little hammering on them to straighten them out. Because uh, as you can see, they're a little uh, wonky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a technical term. Wonky. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite words. <laughs> so what we're going to do is take a mallet and tap and rotate until you see that that area is perfectly straight. Okay. And then you can flip it over and do the other side. Is there a wrong way to do it? Or is this just kind of, a, this is all well, our creative self comes out? Yes. You're saying yes, there's yeah, a wrong yeah, way. You I'm going to find it. You'll find yeah. the wrong way, yes. Joey. Come on. Twist. Rotate. rotate. Oh, rotate. Let's see. Perfect. This is a nice way to get out your week's aggression. Exactly. That's why I'm so zen like yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now Linda, once we get over to Linda's side, what does she do with... Okay. Well, between that, um, we do a little bit of filing on the ends. So we have uh, some files. And what we would do is round the ends so that they are as smooth as possible. Mm -hmm. And then we would uh, take a file. Usually, um, we do sometimes use nail files from mm -hmm. a salon. However, uh, we also use these things called sanding sticks. Very similar. Okay. Okay. okay so beyond that, then the fun step mm -hmm. is to take the what I call now tapers and start bending them so what we're going to do is start with a curl like oh, this wow. okay and we're going to be using step nose pliers so what step nose yes and what I'm going to ask you to do is use the smallest step okay. and hold the metal like this and rotate your hand until the metal oh touches itself. That's Ooh. step one. So this okay. looks like the skill part here. Oh my. Yes. This so is the hold skill, it in Linda. the smallest place like here. Correct. And rotate it backwards. Um, uh, to, away from you. There you go. Until the metal touches itself. Come on, metal touch. <laughs> well, uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Insert the pliers back into the loop. Okay. <laughs> there you go. No laughing, Mickey. <laughs> no laughing. <laughs> Linda got the hard part. Yeah. This is a serious job. This is going to look Great. Don't okay. touch it. So I want to interrupt real quick. Yes. Is this an example of one specific type of class? I know there's so many different jewelry classes at Art Center. Or do you get to, to do this from completion to finish? Well, we do a variety of, for this is called forging, and we do a variety of forging techniques um, at all levels. However, this particular project um, is intermediate. Okay. Mm. So if oh. I wanted to, I'm going to hold this up for just a second. If I wanted to end up with an end result of something like this, I would look for the class called forging in terms of jewelry at Art Center? Um, is that the... Actually, you just start with the beginner's class. Okay. Uh, we'll teach you the basic forging skills. We'll maybe do something a little bit uh, less 
um, technical, okay. mm -hmm. and then we'll build on those skills until you reach um, the ability more advanced to do that. That's nice These that are you fascinating. can progress. All right, yes. so I, I, I'll get you back to your process. Okay, okay. so now that you have that, we're yes. going to switch pliers. Okay. And what you're going to do is hold the end of the loop with these parallel pliers. Uh-huh. And... Oh, like this. Oh, pardon me, this way. This way? Like this? Yes. Okay. Uh, flip it. Flip it? Open and flip. Oh, that way? Yes. Okay. So now hold this tight okay. and just start rotating the metal around. So you're making the curls that Correct. we see. Correct. Okay. All right. Rotate. So while Linda's working there, yes. let's move on to what the curls would look like so, after Linda's handiwork. So I've got a good finished curl here. Yes. Okay. So that's what we're aspiring to is exactly. something that's curled like that. And honestly, the curls, they can, they, they can be a variety of shapes. I have a variety of shapes right here. Okay. So okay. it's not really important that they're all consistent. I think that it's, um, you know, I just let them do their own thing. And why do I get to hit the curls? Yeah. Okay. I'm very excited about Maybe this. I'll stand back. Okay. Because <laughs> I've had a long week. <laughs> so on the curls, what you're going to do is use a planishing hammer. We're going to use the rounded side. Okay. And I'm going to do the first one for you, if you don't mind. We're going to... And what is this doing to it? It's making it almost weathered. It is going to not only make um, hammer marks, mm -hmm. but it also will Ooh. flatten the metal oh, in makes certain it, areas. It, it gives it a shine. Ground. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I like the shine. I'm good it's so at this part. amazing that it starts from this, you know, this yes, wire and becomes this beautiful jewelry on the end. And I see from all the different types of classes, different students can make all different types of jewelry over by Steph. How great. All right, well, Steph keeps hammering oh, I am. literally. Go the hammer in the morning. You can find information about all the different types of classes, painting, sculpting, jewelry making, everything at Art Center Manatee. You can go to their website, artcentermanatee.org. All right, coming up next, Mickey has the latest in healing skin products. And Steph is hammering away. Got work to do, people. <laughs>